Hi, welcome. We're here at Charles Frederick Jewelers. My name is Lisa Maroney, Director of Business Development, and uh, we're here for an open house celebration and uh, congratulations to Charles Frederick for a recent renovation and upgrade of uh, the inside of their retail shop here. I um, want to introduce a few people that are here with us. Town Manager, Paul Cohen, behind me here. Here with Fred Gallagher, Rick Romano, co-owners of the shop. Um, Pat Wojcic, I drew a blank on your name, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I apologize. Um, Virginia's here, Virginia Crocker Timmons, Evan Belansky, Ken, Colleen, I've drawn, drawn a blank on your name. Uh, Tom and John, we're all here to celebrate. Charles Frederick, thank you so much for coming out and supporting uh, this exciting little event we're having here. Um, so I wanted to just ask a few questions. I'm going to hand this over to you and ask a few questions. Sure. But if you could chat a little bit about Charles Frederick and your shop, the hours, anything special you'd like to say. All right. Um, well, we've been here for 31 years now. Mm -hmm. Um, and Fred and Charlie Horndahl, who retired, had opened the business. And about 20 plus years ago, I came in as well. And um, when COVID came, we kind of had the opportunity to redo some things. We got some new cases, a lot of new merchandise, uh, and things have been really good. Fabulous, fabulous. I think when we chatted earlier, you have a lot of added um, expansion here a lot more uh, inventory and, and um, choices and options and things. So that's really great. I think you had said you brought in six additional display cases, which is fabulous for the shop. And to think about that you've been here in this location, this same unit for 31 years, and you're one of the co-founders, is that right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And, and I just figured out a few moments before I got here, I pieced together how the Charles Frederick <laughs> name came together. It only took us about kinda, two months right. to come up with it. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed obvious after we did it, but it wasn't up until yes, then. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. So your website, charlesfrederick.com. Yep. And I find it really interesting that you have a live chat on your jewelry website. So I could hop on there and chat with you anytime yes. I have a jewelry question. Yes, at if you can, at night, I'm <laughs> the one that sees it. If you can repair my <laughs> necklace or my watch battery. I, I find that really neat um, to really be able to just connect directly with the shop owners mm -hmm. and operators yeah. that are here all the time to just do a live chat through your website is, is fabulous. Um, I know that you do repairs, jewelry repairs. Mm -hmm. Yes, a lot of them. A lot of repairs, yes. yeah. And you have estate jewelry as well, I we saw. We do. We even have an estate event coming up next oh, month. Let's have a little chat about a little, that. A little plug. Okay. Uh, we've been buying... Uh, a lot of different estates from okay. the area, and we have uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pieces. So many so that we have we can't even put them in the case. So we're going to unveil them all in May. Yeah. Excellent, yeah. excellent. When is that, May? I think we're going to try and do it the first half of the month. Okay. Um, so we just have to get the word out. Okay, good times. Yeah. Plan ahead. Come on down That's for right. see what's available for the uh, estate jewelry. I also made a couple of um, notes on your website, Jewelry Education. You have a jewelry education tab to help people understand all of the different important facets, I guess, about gems and jewels. And yeah, so for us, it's you know, it comes naturally to Fred and I, but we realize that uh, the public sometimes has got uh, very little knowledge, and it can be daunting, mm -hmm. wondering uh, you know if they're buying the right things, if they're paying the right prices. You know, we just assume yeah. everybody trusts us and it's all good, but education is key. So. Well, I would think you'd be very trustworthy. You've been here for 31 years and, um, you know, definitely have a strong reputation and a following and a lot of support from the community and beyond. A lot of families come back in the different generations of different reasons to celebrate and, and things like that. True. I've seen a lot of different... Um, um, jewelry for younger people, older people, all different types of styles and, and keeping up with the trends. Yep. Um, you know, it's it's really a great little treasure to have something like this in, in oh, Chelmsford. Yeah. We sell a lot of engagement rings lately too. You know, with oh. COVID, it really got a lot of young couples to where they were going faster. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a hint at all. <laughs> So um, we have quite an extensive uh, selection of diamonds yeah. and settings, and 
It yeah. works out great. Fabulous. Yeah. And I just learned you, you had shared something that at one point there was a car that came through the front of your store. I was like, wow, okay, you've yeah, gone right. through everything, right? Over we 31 have. years, you've experienced it all. Blizzards, power outages, Swift car a lot crashes, of glass. lots yes. of glass. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So now you're really very secure. Everything's safe out there. Plenty of plenty of parking. Um, you know, and word does some great go history. Every now and then that we close, but really what it is is people show up after hours and they don't realize that we have to take everything out oh. every night and lock it up in the vault. So, uh, you know, if you come at seven o'clock at night and look in, it's it's, it's quite blank. it's quite empty. <laughs> I had no idea every piece that we see here ends up in a vault every night. Mm -hmm. Any average idea of how many pieces are here right now? Uh, we have about 3,500 pieces of jewelry. Wow. Um, wow. That's a lot. That's, that is a lot. Yeah. There's a lot of selection, a lot of options, a lot of beautiful um, jewelry here. If you like things fancy or simple or, um, you know, there's really something for everyone. Um, so, you, oh, you do restringing of pearls, I noticed. Yes. How often? That must happen a lot, restringing uh, pearls. We do. We string a lot of pearls. What do we figure out? We do, I think... We do about 5,000 repairs a year out of this location. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, we seem to be the go-to place. Wow, which is great. wow, and I can hear your mascot in mm -hmm. the background. Yes. I can hear her. <laughs> she can hear your voice, yep. and so it's a matter of time. If you hear any barking, it's just Gracie. It's the extra salesperson in the store. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's, yeah, she has more fans than all of us. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. The that's salesperson that's not on payroll. Right. In a roundabout way. She gets a lot of yeah. treats. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Um, so, any anything else you want to add? I know there's some special occasions coming up. Easter's coming. Is that a big deal for you? I know Mother's Day likely is. Uh, you know, we're fortunate in that business. We we had a few competitors close recently, so uh, we've expanded our staff. Um, we bought 50% more jewelry than we've ever uh, ever had. Uh, and business has been great, and we just hope that it kind of keeps continuing. So um, every month is busy, Mother's Day, graduation, all that kind of stuff. It's been great. Wow. Anything else you want to add, Fred? No, I'm Other fine. than the Frederick? <laughs> he likes, to, he likes to speak. I just <laughs> fix things. <laughs> um, anyone else from the audience here, Lowell 5, any thoughts or comments? Anybody? Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, Jeff Hardy, thank you so much for showing up to support, thank you. Chelmsford Parade is happening, fundraising, banners, sponsorship for small businesses, it's a really big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, um, we try hard to be active in the community. Uh, myself and several of the people in the room help put the parade on every year and yeah. uh, try to try to help the community any way we it's can. It's like a two-hour parade, right? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Two yes. hours. Yeah, that's a big, that's, that's a yeah. big deal. So, um, yeah, I'm sure that people come from all over the eastern side of it is the country, of the, probably. It is one of the biggest parades in the state for the 4th of July. It is yeah. second or third biggest, yeah. I, I believe. So. Wow. Well, there is a website, chelmsfordparade.org. Yep. I'll just plug that in a little bit, but charlesfrederick.com. You can find all the things there on the website that we've chatted about. You can even do a live chat with my friend Rick here. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any questions about jewelry or, you know, or you just want to say hi. That's right. You can do that too, yes, right? Preferably not in the middle of the night. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, okay, so I think we're going to cut the ribbon. If anybody else has anything else to add in at all, anyone? We love uh, this jeweler. I was here last month with my mother. We oh. love well, this jeweler. I was here last month with my mom. She brings all her jewelry Thank here to you, you fellas. Oh, that's great. Thank you. That's great. See, you've got friends everywhere, and they keep coming <laughs> back. I know when I stepped in, I was like, wow, it's been too long since I came in. You did painting, a refresh, and we wanted to have an open house and just kind of acknowledge your longstanding small business here and what you do to provide and the jobs you offer and, and the expansion that's happened. So really appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, so we'll cut the ribbon, okay. the yeah. big sharp scissors right behind you. And then we'll do a, um, a certificate presentation we'll for you. So, so don't run away. Bottom, see if we can do two hands. Yes, okay, see if you guys can do it. <laughs> okay. All, right. All right, three, three. two, one. Did it. All right. Hey. Very good, very good. Certificate is behind you over here. Yes. Oh. I'll hand you the microphone as well. 
Hey, uh, Fred and Rick, on behalf of the Select Board and the Town of Chelmsford, I want to just present you with a certificate uh, acknowledging your grand reopening or remodeling of the facility today, and, and really thank you for your presence in the community. And, and as was described earlier, the place looks beautiful. Uh, and you said there's a large inventory, and you are Chelmsford's jeweler at this point. Let's, mm -hmm. let's call it what it is. And, and, and again, your success over the years is, is speaking to your hard work, dedication, and support within the community. So thank you so much, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Oops. Sorry. No. I didn't step on it. Um, one last comment is I have a gift bag here full of lots of goodies for you from the business community, oh. including a few things that you have in your display case <laughs> behind you. <laughs> so um, I'll just let you know that there's, there's um, things from the Historical Society and other businesses that have contributed, and you're welcome to add in anything else you'd like to add in for future uh, business openings. So um, next up we have the Lighthouse School um, is having their opening. They opened a second location in Chelmsford. And we're also having a ribbon cutting for Compass. Um, they're um, opening a, a home for, for residential people in um, North Chelmsford area. So if you want to follow along, just contact me, Lisa Maroney. I am uh, Chelmsford Business Development at Town Hall. You can reach out anytime. But thank you, Charles Frederick for um, having a spectacular small business in town.